Greetings guys, uh, welcome in this beautiful video. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you on how to draw and trade uh, efficiently with trend lines. So when it comes to price action, we know that price action, the most important things, it is uh, trend trading and uh, support and resistance. So those are the three important things which uh, make price action patterns and everything they are inside uh, trends patterns they're also inside the ranges so it's both uh ranges and uh trending markets those are the two things that you need to be uh focusing into so we are just going to be breaking down drawing trend lines and uh finding good entries so before i can get started remember to like this video uh and if you're not a subscriber i don't know what you're waiting for just hit that subscription button uh and you'll be part of the community so let us get started. So why should you be trend should should you be drawing trend lines? Ne? It is because uh, as I told you that the market is, is formed uh, of two things. It is formed of trends and it is also formed of uh, ranges. Ne? So it moves either in a trend or in a ranging market. A ranging market it is whereby the market is without direction. Ne? So if the market uh, doesn't have direction, we call that uh, a, a ranging market. So it's moving just. Uh, sideways not up or down yeah? so if the market is formed of these two things it means that it's been more of the time trading either in a trend or in a range so it's very very important to understand trends if you can't understand trends then i don't see why you should be uh, trading yeah? so when it comes to trends we have a lot of uh, theories about where to draw the trend lines and how to draw them and uh, so on. Né? So one thing that you need to focus into when it comes to trend line trading as a trader, make sure that when you draw your trend lines, firstly, you draw it on one side. Né? Draw it on one side, on the entry side. For an example, let's say you draw a line there. Let me change the colors to something like red. And then the, there is another one below here. So this is what a lot of traders do. Né? This is what a lot of traders do. And this thing, it triggers them to enter the market even on the opposite side. For an example, they can see the market coming here and then bouncing and then it triggers them to put a sell. Yes, the market is going to move down as it moved down. But you need to know that it's a bit risky because you are trading against the momentum. So the purpose of a trend or the purpose of a trend line it is to track the strength. Oh my God, that's a terrible S. It is to, to, to track the strength or the momentum of the players, in this case, the buyers. So if the market is moving up, you need to save yourself by only drawing your trend line below, né? if you can't control yourself. But as a trader, it is also important to note what the market is doing on the upper side. Né? But this is not for the purpose of entering the market, but it is to uh, identify what I'm going to cover in the in, in the last part of this video, to identify market shift or trend line shift. Né? So this is very helpful, but it is not for entry. Né? This line is not for entries, but it is just to show you the flow of the market. So I hope that one is making sense. Né? And then the other uh, question a lot of traders have about trend lines is that should I draw my trend line in the body of the kingly or in the week or the tail? Né? Because that's the, the, that's the problem. So if you can look at my, uh, let me just clear everything. and change this color to something beautiful. So if you can look at my trend line uh, below here, you can see that here it has touched the week. Here it is breaking through the bodies. Here it is touching the edge of the body and again, even here. Né? So you can see that there is nothing, there is no consistency in terms of where my trend line is touching. Né? So that's the sad truth about trend lines. Né? They shouldn't be something fixed that, okay, my trend line, it is supposed to touch the weeks of the uh, the Kenglis. There shouldn't be something like that because if you do this, then it means that you are striving for uh, for perfection, which is something that you cannot find in trading. You cannot find that in uh, forex markets. Perfection doesn't exist. That's why I even tell you that when it comes to drawing resistance or support level, you should be drawing them in terms of zones, not just a straight line, because price doesn't obey straight lines, but it obeys something like a zone. Or if you can make an example, I remember when I was getting started, I used to draw like two of my trend lines, something like this, just 
some uh, parallel lines ne, just to 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 duplicate this method of ranges or zones ne, so that you will save me uh, in such scenarios where i say no the, the the trend line is broken no it is not broken it is because price won't just bounce on lines price doesn't respect lines ne? So you need to know that these are humans driving this thing. This is economy driving the market. So it won't be bouncing in exact points. Ne? It's human psychology, human behavior. So it won't be fixed. It won't be perfect. So I hope that one is making sense. Ne? So in terms of saying, should I use the body or should I use the wig or, or the tail? There is no perfect answer in this market. Ne? There is no perfect answer, I mean, in this question. Ne? Because as I've made an illustration here. So I hope that one is making sense. Ne? And then if you are to draw a trend line, if you are to draw a trend line, you need to make sure that you receive at least uh, two points. Ne? You receive at least two points. Uh, the first point, it is a point where the market is now showing you the direction ne? and then the second point it is the point where you will connect it is the connecting point uh what am i doing it is the connecting point the second point ne? so for an example here let's say you have this first one here you say okay the market pushing up and then you have to be waiting waiting for the next point and then let's say you get it here ne? and then you draw your trend but there is something that that is realistic that i'm going to explain after this part ne? because you won't be just drawing your trend line here sometimes you'll say okay the market is moving here let me draw my trend line like this ne? so it's something normal that's what we do or oh, the market is now moving here let me draw my trend line like that ne? and so on and so on but that's what you need to be doing you need to be allowing the market to tell you what it's doing if you see a low here you you can draw your trend line and wait for the next touch if it doesn't come it doesn't come and see a breakout if there's a breakout it means that your trend line shouldn't be remaining here you should be adjusting it to the lowest point when it remains here it should be just something like an imaginary trend line just to tell you uh, uh in issues of this new uh, high that has been formed ne? but this doesn't apply in these scenarios because we know that for us to take uh, or for us to consider a new lower high we firstly need to have a lower low which is something that we didn't receive here because here is the uh, next the, the previous visible low and here is the next one so it's still higher uh, uh, than this one so we didn't have uh, something like uh, a lower low so that's why we don't consider that high ne? because we need these things to be uh to be confirmed the price action confirms itself so when it shifts you adjust it ne? so i'm not on the on on adjusting i'm just gonna cover it after this so what's important it is to make sure that you have two points and once you figure out the second point then that's where now you wait for the third point and the third point it is your entry ne? it is your end for an example when the price touches you trend line the third time that's when you are entering the market ne? you don't enter on the second touch because there wasn't anything clearly confirmed and now here is an important trick here is an important trick remember that when it comes to uh price action when you're trading with price action i always warn you guys that you shouldn't be consider you shouldn't be considering other aspects and ignoring others now you should consider everything for an example one can argue and say okay how do i get the third touch here because you can see that the market it bounced before it can reach the trend line remember the first principle of lines and regions price doesn't obey lines so what should you be doing when you observe price playing out giving you a new high and then going down this means that the price is correcting ne? if the price is correcting it means that then you need to be paying attention in the corrective way with the structure or the, the 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 pattern that it is correcting with which is in a manner of something like uh maybe flags whatever so now if you once you've identified this pattern this is the pattern that is going to save you in case you are going to miss the trend line you, you are going to be saved by this pattern because when price breaks this pattern it means that it's a beginning of an impulsive move which you want to be taking so if it bounces here and goes up then it means that this is your third touch although it wasn't closer to this line it means this is your third touch why because it has broken the corrective and it broke it very very close to a very very significant zone so that's when you also again should be uh, adjusting your trend line and so on and so on and so on and then the following the fourth touch it's also another uh, good 
entry. Né? So now let us come to uh, let's come to uh, trend line shift. That when you are a trend line trader, you should make sure that you are comfortable with adjusting your trend lines. Né? Make sure that you're comfortable with adjusting your trend line. Why? Because trend lines will always change. Why? Because the market strength or market momentum will always be shifting. Né? It will always be shifting. So the market will be moving from one level of strength to another, either going, either increasing in strength or decreasing in strength. So that's what the market does. So if you see that now my trend line is broken, it doesn't mean that it's a downtrend. Né? Here, for an example, in this case, the trend line was broken here. Uh, it didn't mean that it was a breakout or it was a beginning of a downtrend. So traders will be putting cells here yet uh, not understanding what exactly they should be doing. What you should be doing is that if you want to trade a, tr a downtrend, make sure that your previous significant low is broken. Né? So you will not sell above this line here. That's why I told you guys about territories, that this is the bias territory just above this zone. It's bias territory where the buyers are took the price that's where the bus took the price so above this you are not looking forward to sell né? you sell only when this thing is broken when price is below because that's where they took the price aggressively so né? and again you can sell here but also paying attention as well to the guys who took price up from there that's why support and resistance or supply and demand works né? it's all about the zones or the the, the 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 regions where the sellers or the buyers took the price né? so when the market break out it can happen that the market is shifting in terms of strength just as it did here and same thing applies remember i told you that it is also not a problem to draw your lines above like this because it will show you uh when the market is shifting in strength but not where to enter né? so for the fact that this was broken out it was a shift in market strength né? then um, sort of a drawing that then you needed to be adjusting your trend line again to fit the new strength that has been portrayed by the buyer so i hope that that is clear guys so thank you for watching this video remember to like uh, share and subscribe thank you